Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on uh, Forge. So uh, this map is called Alpine, and when you spawn into Forge, this is how you're going to spawn in. You're going to spawn in on one of these base plates, and you're going to be looking towards these guys. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take everything. Okay, so to get into the Forge monitor, you have to press down on the D-pad, and it'll bring you into this mode. And now, once you're in this mode, just hold down RB and just select everything. Now this you only have to do this once. I don't know, it's kinda dumb. And then here's a little neat trick. If you press X after you selected a bunch of items, go to object properties, select all of, it'll select all of the objects that you've selected. So now we don't even have to go to all of them to all of them individually. So now if you press left on the D-pad, it'll delete those objects. So we can just keep doing that all around until we get none of these objects because we don't want any of these around. Some of them you, you're not able to do but that's alright because there's a minuscule amount of objects here. Okay. Okay now once you've had a totally blank canvas like this choose a place where you want to work. I'll choose like some place over here. So the way you spawn objects in is you press Y. And now there are different objects here that you can choose from. Primitives are kind of like regular like building blocks, I like to call them. Like as you can see, like here's just a little block. You can change the texture on it and everything. And let's see. There's simple triangle traps and all this crap. And then the structures are kind of made for like kind of like bigger maps I guess but like you can't you can't change the texture on these you can change like their uh, traits and everything like their color and all that but you can't add a texture to it so that's why I like primitives more naturals are like kind of like rocks or terrain something like this where you can like build your game build your map into the actual like floor so it like kind of matches it or whatever and yeah there's rocks and all that crap so what I want to show today was all the options and then in the next video I'll show you how to like forge your own like little house or whatever okay so if we go ahead and press X you'll hop into this little menu and there's gonna be map options and tool settings now for map options you can change the skybox you can add like filters to your game you can change the weather you can have some dust and for fog, I usually like to turn mine off because in interiors, it makes it like kind of foggy and it looks kind of bad. There, you can have clouds too, so it just changes your clouds up a little bit. Say none. Um, decorations, not sure. And here are all your um, reference colors. So reference colors are fa like faster ways to get colors on your items. So if we go ahead and load up a primitive right now, and I'll just do this real quick. And we press X on it and we go to object properties. As you can see there the reference color is right here. So it's just a little easier way to get all of your colors down. Let's get rid of that. And tool settings. Okay. Now this is where I I like to mess around a little bit and, and get everything right. So I like to enable magnets for some things. What magnets basically do is they kinda like they're just magnets, they attach blocks to each other. So if we go ahead and take like a block right here and another block right here, as you can see there's those little circles on it and it attaches it to it. So if we go ahead and do this, so you don't have to fidget around while you're trying to attach everything together. See? That's what magnets do. And oh, a little thing, if you're suddenly going really slow like this pressed on the left stick it's because you hit that maybe you're used to it and if you want to fly faster in forge mode hold down the left stick and as you can see you go way faster to go up and down in forge mode you press B to go up and A to go down again that's B to go up and A to go down um, let's see okay HUD it gets rid of all that stuff I like to if you if you're a beginner, you should probably have the beginner mode on for HUDs for your controller helper, control helper. 
because it'll help you all a little bit, but I like to keep that off for now. Display boundaries, um, don't really care. Okay, um, for rotation step, I like to keep on at 45. That basically means whenever you take an object and you rotate it, it snaps to like a 45 degree angle. See, as you can see, it's 45 degrees. Boom, 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 boom. And let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way, let's just change the skybox real quick. There are a lot of skyboxes in all of the maps. As you can see, this is much like a darker uh, little skybox. It's really nice. Um, let's see. Okay, cinematics are something that I'm still playing with, but they're basically the intros that you see. You know, like how whenever you start a game in Halo 5, there's like that cool like intro that shows like around the map. Well, that's pretty much it. You can adjust that all you want around your map and get all the cinematics that you want. So, some props. Props are basically like extra stuff that you can add to your game that make that make it look non 4G if that makes sense. So here are some like pallets, and here's like a duffel bag or whatnot. These are just miscellaneous stuff that you can add. Um, you can add fake little vehicles. There's a pelican. Obviously, you can't control it or anything. You can open it and whatnot. You can go inside. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a car. And, yeah, these are props. And Breakout, it was just, if you've ever played Breakout, it's just, like, a palette design to look exactly like a Breakout Arena. So there's a starting platform. You can spawn things here. Here are the man cans that launch you in Breakout. Um, here's, like, the Breakout wall and whatever. It's just Breakout stuff, if you're into that or whatever. Um... Natural, I've already gone through it, primitive structures. Gameplay is just weapons and stuff that your player can interact with, like vehicles, spawning, like... Okay, so spawning, initial spawns, this is where you'll spawn at the beginning of the game. You won't spawn here after the game, like after you die. For that, it's respawns. So whenever you die, you will have a chance of spawning on these. If you have multiple on them, like this, you'll have different chances of spawning on them. And you can increase or decrease the chances with the spawn volumes. Like, if you have a spawn point in this little box thing, you'll increase your chances of spawning in that spawn point, if that makes sense. Um, game modes, blah, 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 just all of it, that jazz. Um, launchers, just pretty much launchers. You can adjust the distance you want on it, forward launch, vertical, horizontal arc, whatever, all that stuff. Um, death spears, just kill balls and stuff like that, don't, don't touch them. Volumes are kind of fun, they're kind of just like kill volumes, like if you go outside a map, for example, let's just place this down real quick. To get back into player mode, you have to press down on the d-pad. So if we go in the volume, it'll tell us to go back to the battlefield so players don't wander off around your map. And it's just a cool little thing. I'm gonna delete that. Um, okay, let's go with the controllers a little bit more. So, if you wanted to duplicate an item, for example, like this, you can press right on the D-pad, and it'll start duplicating them like crazy. Now, I'm going to delete all these, but to delete everything, you press left on the D-pad, and that will just delete that. And if you wanted to, you can select stuff and just delete all of them like that. Okay, extras, lighting, I'll get into that in a different video, decals, blah, blah, blah. Effects are probably my favorite feature in Forge. That they added a uh, like I like to, I like to say like they add effects to your game. So here's like a slip like a slipstream. It's a cool little effect that you can use whenever for whatever. Here's some insects. Just start flying around. And here's like a lightning strike or something like that. Um, yeah, there are different little things. There are chromas. Chromas are basically just like green screens, you can change their colors and whatnot, if you want to make a video and use a green screen, you can. Invisible bro blockers are pretty much what they are, they're blockers that are invisible so you can't, you can't go past it, there we go, there it is. Um, let's see, this is where the camera and cinematic stuff, scripting is something that I'll get into a different video because there's a lot you can do with scripting, um, what else? 
their power-ups. Um, okay, so let's get into building a map in the next video. So the next video should be up after this. Just go ahead and stay tuned.